I'm going to be showing you how to shoot and edit reaction videos in Adobe Premiere Pro, but whatever I'm going to be teaching as well applies to any other editing software. If this sounds interesting, sit back, relax, let's figure this out. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to yet another exciting video right here on the Africa Maze channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to shoot and edit reaction videos. Now this kind of videos have become so much very popular these days on YouTube and it's one of the very quickest way of growing your YouTube channel or let me say at one point if you're a serious YouTuber you would have to record your screen or do let's say some form of reaction of a sort one way or the other and that is where this video got you covered so first of all to do a proper reaction video uh, you need a software to be able to record your screen you need a screen capture software you need to figure out the song or the video that you are reacting to you need to know whether you are downloading the song offline or you are going to be playing it online then also you need a camera to be able to record your reactions because let's face it you can have a reaction video without having your own reaction you have to figure out whether you want to use a webcam or you want to use a professional camera to record you but in this case i do recommend that always you record that separately and the fifth point is figure out how you are recording your audio in this case i'm going to be recording my audio with this mic that i'm speaking into and so at the end of the day you are going to end up with several footage that means we are going to end up with footage of the recorded screen footage from the camera which records your reactions and thirdly in my case i'm going to also get an audio stream separate so we are going to be syncing three different files if you really want to do this at a very professional level so audio separate this video separate and the screen recording separate we merge all together in adobe premiere pro and we form this very one nice cohesive piece now let's jump into the computer and i'll show you so in this case i'm using the software called debut that is a screen recording software and i have another video on this channel where i show you some of the very professional but free softwares that you can download online to be able to do screen uh capturing and check out that video right here or i also have links to it in the description below go and check out my list for the free softwares that you can get to be able to do that and so this is the one that i'm using this is debut and this this is absolutely free and so we are not paying for this as you can see i've already gone ahead to set this up and it's recording that is why you can see my screen in the first place so some few things to take note of regardless of which software that you are using make sure your audio um settings are always on point as you can see because i'm already recording it's not allowing me to do that but maybe let me just run a b-roll on screen as i'm talking so you go to the audio settings make sure that you turn off the microphone side of the recording and make sure it's only recording from the speakers that way if it's a laptop or you have another extra microphone directly connected to the computer then it's going to be recording in the background as well and at the end of the day you are going to have like an echo so the secret is that what i do is i just set the screen recording software to only record the original sound of the music or the video that we are going to be reacting to and so if you have the, all those settings ready you just go ahead click on record and voila your screen software is ready to go it's already recording your whole screen now you have several options you can choose a particular portion of the screen to just record or you record the whole screen but for me i prefer to record the whole screen then i can do any other thing i want in the editing software i don't want to select a particular side and later on i want to do something and um, i'm not able to do that so i recommend that you just click on full screen just record the full screen and then you can go ahead now that we have this figured out let's move to the next step which is by going to our video that we want to react to so now in my case i've opened youtube right here how do i go about this i have to figure out whether i want to download the video or play it off youtube or any other platform um, that i have it but for me I always prefer instead of downloading the video I prefer to do this so that it will look raw or at least have that kind of raw feeling uh, at the end of the day so for example let's react to this music video or let's try like want to react to a music video that I shot for this artist um, so let's just say his name is Rap Koji uh, Rap Koji let's search for Rap Koji and he comes up yes that is it and so this is a video I shot for this particular artist and let's suppose that this is a reaction video so what i do is that i just um, click on this particular video and make sure i reduce this a little and if i've already set the computer to record just that particular audio then i'm safe because 
this one is not or this mic is not supposed to be picking that audio too much and once i reduce it here the computer itself is already recording it internally so once we have this screen capture footage at the end it's going to have the proper audio then we can put this audio on that and we are ready to go so now that we have this let's just assume that we are recording um, a reaction video so reaction video let's go so this is a rap koji song let's get ahead into the reaction hey. Lamba. And I kind of like the way the camera is just moving towards the actors over there. And I like the way the drone shots are going. Cut it. So you kind of get the idea. So now when we are done with all this, we stop this camera, we stop the recording, take off the card, copy the footage, stop the recording here, copy the sound over here, and also go ahead to stop the recording of this and copy the footage to one folder. So now that we have sorted out the shooting process, now let's jump to the next stage, which is how to put this together in Adobe Premiere Pro. So now this is how to edit the footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've gone ahead to copy all our footage onto uh, the computer's hard drive. So as you can see, this is the recording itself. That is just a video that is from this camera. So what I like to do is I like to organize my files very well. So I can call this um, reaction. Okay, so this is the reaction. I've named this already screen record. That is a screen recording. And I can go ahead and name this audio. All right. So once we are done, we are ready um, to open Adobe Premiere Pro and bring these files in. And guys, don't joke with this process because sometimes if you are working with more than one file, if you don't spend time to kind of organize the files very well, then in the editing process, at one point, you might start getting confused. So it's important. So right again, we have the audio, we have the reaction, and we have the screen recording. These are all the basic ingredients we need to make this uh, recording process uh, done. So right away, let me create a folder, call it project. This is where we are going to save our Adobe Premiere Pro project to now. This is not an organization tutorial. This is just a basic organization that I'm doing for the sake of this tutorial. So I've gone ahead to open Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's just go ahead, uh, come create new project and let's select where we want to save it. So let's go to the YouTube folder and um, we look for reaction. This is a reaction video project. And let's just call this reaction video then that is it, we are ready to go. So once it opens, we go ahead, we import all our files, then we do the syncing. So Adobe Premiere Pro has opened, so let's double click here, import our files. So let's go to desktop, let's go to YouTube. This is YouTube and straight away, let's search for um, reaction, R. okay, so reaction video. So these are the three files. We have the audio reaction screen record. Let's open, import those files into Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if this was an actual reaction video, I would just drag all into the timeline and try to use the auto sync feature. Now, there are certain times where this will work, certain situations it might not work, but I'm sure it will work because um, the computer itself, like I said, wasn't recording my voice. It was just recording the song itself or the sound that it was playing from the computer so that way we don't have to worry about my voice and that way it is because this mic was also recording um that music at least it can you can hear it small in the background so the software is going to use that to be able to sync all the three um softwares or let me say to sync all the three videos or audios together to work in harmony so Let's go ahead. I'm going to trim down this video because remember that um, I was speaking throughout the whole of this tutorial. So all of that side um, will not be necessary. So it's just to the ending that we might need. Now that we have, now that we have sorted out the shooting process, now let's jump to the next stage, which is how to put this together. In that we are recording um, a reaction video. So reaction video, let's go. So this is Rap Koji song. Okay, so this is just the part that we need. Uh, let's drag it onto the timeline. So this is the reaction part. It's just uh, one minute, seven seconds. 
So now let's trim down the audio too. Like I said, on under normal circumstances, we just drag all of this and put it there. But remember that uh, this is a tutorial, so we have to cut off all the chunk. I know that is just the ending part that is the reaction video. So let's play the audio too, just to be sure. The way the drone shots are going, cut it. So you kind of get the idea. So after we have this amazing footage, or when we are done with all this, now we go ahead and copy. Now that we have in process now let's jump to we stop the recording take off the card copy the footage like the way the camera is just moving to song so this is a rap koji song let's get ahead so reaction video let's go cut it all right so once he says cut it so let's bring in um that audio to here it means we still have lots of chunk so now we have the reaction already on the timeline we've now brought in the audio so now let's bring in the screen itself again this one to uh the screen recording will just be at the ending um so let's just say probably from uh this area uh i, I presume around this area Okay, so we take it right up to here. Right, just before the screen goes dark. So basically, this is it. We drag it in. And guys, remember not to make a mistake. Don't drag only the video because we need the audio. So click rather over here. Don't click on this. Click rather over here so that you bring it in with the audio. So in this case, what we can do is we can click this, alt click, then move it onto down, or let me say uh, the other uh, audio layer beneath, or let me undo. What you can do is just click on it, drag it down, and hold this. This is a screen recording now. Let's drag the screen recording audio to down and bring all of this behind. So now we kind of have all our three um, footages lined up. So we have the screen recorder, we have the reaction, and we have the audio. So for the purpose of this tutorial, what I'm going to do is that I'm not going to be doing this manual. I hope um, Adobe Premiere Pro will be able to sort this out for me automatically. So what you do is that you just select all of this make sure it's just one file you right click and you go to synchronize now don't click any of this just make sure it's on audio because it's now going to use all the audio peaks to kind of um try to automatically link all of these things up so you just say okay and you wait for Adobe Premiere Pro to do its thing. Once it's done, it's going to be able to sync everything. And boom, voila, everything has duly been synced. So now what we can do is that we can go ahead and make sure everything is well aligned. And this is where it ends. So we can make sure everything also ends there. Um, delete the empty space here. All right. So now what we'll do is that we have to now properly arrange all of these things. The reaction video has to be on top. So uh, let's just play to be sure. Then now um, my voice, or let me say the original voice from this particular video is totally unnecessary at this point. So let's just play just to be sure. I like the way the camera is just moving towards the actors over there. So as you can see, there is lots of echo, and that is because of the fact that um, you have all of this audio going on. So this is the reaction. So because the reaction, it's bringing audio from the original camera. This is the reaction and its own audio. So we can alt-click that audio and delete that audio. But remember that we are not going to be deleting the audio of uh, the screen recorder because the screen recorder recorded the original sound of the video because as you can see just look at the waveforms wherever uh, the sound is playing you realize that um, on this mic's recording that is on this mic's recording you realize that that place um, is totally silent there is nothing there that is because this mic is turned towards me and so because the speakers are over here um, it hardly or let me say it hardly picks up any of the sound and so that is where the computer's own recording comes in and so it's in vice versa at the same time if you look at where i'm always speaking to then if you look at um the waveforms here it's also silent so whenever i'm not also speaking and the music is playing then realize that the this one too is silent and this one is working and that is a good sign that our reaction video is going to be very good and it's not going to have any echo uh sounds along so now we can shift this uh, audio files up and make sure we bring this ones uh, these two video files down because we are ready to go so now 
we've rearranged it always make sure you have your face or the reaction video on top and you have the screen down this is important because you are going to cut this face and have it uh, beneath or in the form of a box or whatever so now that we have this done this is where everything now becomes a creative process you now have to decide how you want to go with this whether you want to make it a small box or you want to create a small circle on it or whatever design that you want to use now let's try different design strategies and see for example um let's come here let's go to effects um come to the search and type in crop and we bring in the crop to this reaction video put the crop effect drag and drop it there come to effect control scroll down and let's see um no i don't want to cut from the right uh from the left rather so let's cut over here and once we are done we can scroll up and use this position tools to pull the position back this way. All right. Then we now click on uh, the, the down layer, which is um, where we see the music video happening. So we can pull that to the side also this way. All right. And we have it there. So if we want, what we can do is we can also scale this up, which is by zooming it in a little. And we can have something like this and so in that sense we can still pull back uh the face that is a reaction uh behind just a little and if you want we can also still use the crop to cut it in just a tad bit right and after that we can still pull it back again once more and so you kind of get the idea and so now this is how our um reaction video kind of looks like so let's play it and see let me press that like it opens up let's see how it looks like let's see what we have so this is a rap koji song let's get ahead into the reaction now of course because uh we are doing screen recording and doing all of these things at the same time it's slowing it down let me just take it four and let's see if it can play And I kind of like the way the camera is just moving towards the actors over there. And I like the way the drone shots are going. Cut it. So basically, that is um, how you can go about it. Like I said, right now, once you have the syncing done, and um, as you can see correctly, we can't hear any echo or no echo is going on, then bravo, you've really done a yeoman's job. This is a perfect reaction video right there. Like I said, at this point, it's now subjective. You, we can go ahead and cut off all this point so that it will just be the screen. We can increase this. We can rather go and make like uh, just a round circle. Let me show you uh, as a bonus tip. I can go ahead and delete the crop rather uh, from this. I can take this back to its normal state. And what I can do is um, I can add, I can just go ahead and reduce this. Like I think this is a very popular way of doing it and we just have it down here so that we can see uh, the face so in that case we can bring this back uh, increase this to just occupy the screen so if we want we can take this to the side and you can play it and see and i kind of like the way the camera yeah so basically that is it like i said from this point onwards let your imagination run wild uh the last one i'll show you is you can also add like just say kind of like a circle uh let's add a circle here and over here um we take the uh, max feather to zero and we can reduce the size and bring this let's say down here and let's play it and see And I kind of like the way the camera is just moving towards. So from this point onwards, like I said, it's now uh, personal preferences. These parts are all subjective. You have to go about it uh, the way you would want. So basically, that is my way of doing reaction videos. I hope this video was very helpful. I know this was a long one, but if you did enjoy this video and you got a ton of information out of this video, please do me a favor by clicking on the like button because it goes a long way in helping other people discover this channel on YouTube. And if you do make your reaction video, 
please do share that with us share it in the comment section below here and i'll come check out your reaction video and give you a thumbs up as well because over here we are one big family i am staggered by your generosity and the way you keep supporting the africa amaze channel if you're new here we talk about cinematography editing and all its related branches and as always guys if you have any further questions you can ask me in the comment section below and i'll gladly respond to every single one of your messages or you can also link me up on instagram Instagram at OBL underscore junior and I will also gladly respond to every single one of your messages and like we do it on this channel as always guys until next time keep practicing filmmaking peace out <laughs>